In this video, I am super jacked up and excited because I am going to share with you what I believe to be one of the most important tips with the latest patch, something that I think we all need to be testing and trying and working because this is a really, really, really good concept. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day. You want to have the latest tips and tricks in the community, please, I would encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Now, in this video, we're talking about the new best coverage in Madden, at least in my opinion, and that is the Cover 2 Sync. I'm going to show you how to run this concept against Gun Bunch and show you why I think this is one of the most powerful uh, offensive or defensive schemes that you can run right now, and it's because of one specific zone, and it's probably not the zone that you're thinking about. So we're going to jump right into the video. All we're going to do is I'm going to come out in this mesh post. I've got Hot Route Master, so I can do a lot of the meta setups that a lot of people like to run out of the bunch. So we're going to come out and cover two sync. And I'm going to show you real first and foremost kind of the way that it used to work, which was essentially like this. So if I were to run verticals and I were to run this setup right here, the R1 receiver most of the time would get open with a pass lead to the inside just like that. And it really puts you in a bad position because even if you user the R1 receiver, the outside receiver uh, got open. So how do we combat this? Well, a couple things we can do. Now, this is cover to sync, and I'm just gonna run cover to sync stock. So I'm not gonna make any adjustments whatsoever. So you see here, and I want you to pay attention to uh, this guy right here, Thompson, on the middle read zone. I want you to watch what he does, okay? So I'm gonna run uh, verticals, and then I'm gonna streak R1, and I want you to watch what the mid read does. You're gonna see, that he matches him all the way up the seam and he takes that route completely away. Perfect, perfect defense on that. So what that allows me to do, especially from a formation like 3-3-5 three, three, odd, is I can now take that safety on that bunch side and put him in an outside third. So now if I run that verticals concept, what you're going to see is let's say I do this. Now what you're going to see is look at that outside third. He's going over and he's going to play that route right there, as you can see. So that completely takes away one of the most popular ways that people like, really the, I think the only way um, that most people are able to beat this coverage out of bunch over the top. So you've made yourself, you've put yourself in a really good position. I will also say for just a second, let's say that we run uh, verticals with a streak and then we motion out brown. I do wanna show one more thing on this. So let's say we do something like this, okay? I want you to watch. You're gonna see mid-read goes with him. Watch circle. It's not an easy throw. It's not an easy throw. Obviously, if you're, especially if you're usering over in that area or whatever, you know, that's not a super easy throw. A lot of people will go max protect because they're trying to hit a bomb. So they'll do something like this right here. And again, I'm just running stock cover to sink. No adjustments whatsoever. Um, not even base aligning it. And you'll see here, like, they're going to throw right there. And that right there is not terrible. And especially if you have a, like, a Mike Haynes or someone that has really good zone coverage at the safety position and they're fast, you're going to have a decent chance at jumping that. So that's one of the reasons why I really like that zone. And again, if you put an outside third over there, you're going to be good. Now, we know that outside thirds aren't exactly the best zone, and I'm going to talk about why that is uh, here in a second. So if I run the play clear out SE out, what you're going to see is this is a very popular concept to basically get a cover three beater. Right, so let me show you what this does against cover two sync. You're going to see here that it bombs the coverage, as you can see, the outside thirds. This is where I'm talking about outside thirds being a little bit of an issue, as you can see right there. So that's where you need to be careful by you know use, using those outside thirds, especially at this point. Um, and that's honestly why, you know, to me, just leave the deep half. And you know, if they're if they're going to hit you on that whole shot, I'll tell you right now. If you move this guy, and I would, just move him like right there. You're going to see that it's going to put him in a really unique position. So let's say, for example, they go to that verticals play again. Even if they run the streak, watch the circle receiver. Pass lead that. And you see, I mean, if they don't, I mean, it's not an easy throw. It's not an easy throw by any means. Okay. And that's really the throw that they have when we're, when, um, that's really the throw that they have. Especially if you put like a 30-yard cloud flat out there, I would put your hooks on default so the mid-read still does his job. 
But now we're in a really interesting position. So now the next thing that you're going to start to see is this, and this is what they're going to do. Um, they're going to uh, run something to the extent of a bunch uh, of a bunch trail. Okay, there's really two things they're going to do. The first one is they're going to run Z spot and go, and I'm going to show you how to combat that. And then the second thing they're going to do is they're going to go to bunch trail. So if they go to Z spot and go. Uh, what I like to do with this is this is where I love the baseline against bunch and I love absolutely love to take this vertical hook defender and man him up on the slot. Okay. And the reason why is because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cloud flat on the, on the right. And then, you know, if I have a 30 yard cloud flat, then I'll just leave it like that. Um, if I, you know, if I'm in, in, in and then I'll put golden in like a five yard curl flat or like in practice mode, you can't set zone drops in, and I might not even set the zone drops in a game. So I'll put this guy in a hard flat. So now I've got a soft squat on this back side. So if the running back doesn't go to the flat, he's got he's gonna that soft squat will play Mike Evans and man coverage. So what you're gonna see is you get something like this. Now you've got really, really good chance at stopping this corner route. That corner route this year does not do a great job against man. And and what's really cool is that's the only corner route in bunch that can get over a cloud flat they have to have those deeper corner routes and you only have them from one player in the bunch you only have them from r1 so what i'm going to be able to do is let's say that i go to uh let's say okay i know you're manning up r1 so i'm going to do a concept like this well now what you're going to see is that cloud flat is going to play those shorter corners as you can see right there he's going to play those shorter corners he's going to play the flood out routes he's going to play the bunch trail routes that are so popular so let me show you that so this is a this is a uh, I want you to kind of watch how this works this is basically a version of a uh, bunch trail that I want to show you so it looks something like this they might even they probably are going to block somebody especially if they're playing 335 odd because the pressure from 335 odd is absolutely insane but let's say that we do this and you're going to see this is kind of the coverage that we've created well you've got this corner route on the right so bagged it's manned up and then it's running right into a cloud flat as you see so they can't get that route there bunch trail is dead they can't get it to that side the only thing that they have is this backside post to Mike Evans and they have to do a very specific thing to get this open and I'll show you what I'm talking about so if I were to run something like this this is what most people are running to beat cover two well it's not gonna beat cover two sync okay it's not gonna beat cover two sync especially if you put a cloud flat on the bunch side and you put a hard flat on the bunch side just like that and then you have your soft squat on the back side watch what the soft squat does you see he's going to match him and he's going to come up and make a catch tackle right there. If they make a perfect, it has to be a perfect throw for them to be able to hit this, hit that route in a consistent fashion. So what you're going to get now is, and another thing that you can even do to combat that is, let's say you do something like this, where you bring this guy to the middle of the field, right? That's an example of something else you could do. But obviously you would, you know, probably do something like this. Um, this is probably my preferred way to run this, something like that right there, especially out of 335 odd. Um, but what you're going to see is, you know, now I'm going to run that post again. And again, they have to put the running back on a like a flat route or something to that side. If they don't put the running back on a flat route to the to the solo side, then that soft squat will match him every single time in man coverage. And as you see right here, I mean, that's a really hard throw and really hard completion. And if you've got a good click on, you're going to have a really good chance of being able to intercept that. So what can they do, right? Well, what they can do is, and this is where the chess match is going to come in, is they can do something like this. So, you know, let's say they do this right here. Now, this is an example of a route combo that should beat cover two sync. You're going to see we're going to be able to split it over the top just like that. And as you see, we're splitting the cover to sync. So that's where, as your as a user, you've got two decisions that you can make. The first one is, and I like this one a lot. It's not if you're playing bunch offset, it's not super good. But if you're playing like Seattle bunch, it's actually really good. You're going to take Thompson and you're going to man him up on the solo receiver, right? So you're going to man him up on the solo receiver, and then on this outside guy. What I like to do is, and this is where we're just going to say, you know what, we're going to play Tampa 2 uh, or cloud flat coverage. So you get something like this. And now, if you think about it, this is a pretty good way to defend this because he's going to have 
really, really good leverage on that outside. And then let's say they do something, you know, that looks like something like this. Now, I mean, look, I mean, pretty much everything's going to be boxed. I mean, as you can see, and that mid read is doing his job. Now, if you want to, you can still put the mid read in the deep middle of the field. The problem is if you put the mid read in the deep middle of the field, let's say that they run some kind of crosser, uh, like a vertical, you know, crossing route or something over the middle. Now you've put yourself in a disadvantage because the mid read is going to get just toasted and they're going to make that throw all day long. So that's why I personally you know, really, really like the mid read and having the mid read on the field because of what he can do in match coverage, what he can do in, in other situations like that. Um, he's very deceptive. It's very deceptive zone. So like, for example, let's say they run that same play verticals. I'll show you what happens. So you got a mid read on the field. Now watch, see how he carries him. So it takes that quick throw away and it forces him to hold the ball for just a second longer where you're going to have a really good chance to be able to get some good pressure. So that is kind of why I think the cover two sink is one of the better coverages. Tampa two is also one of the better coverages. You know, another thing that you could even do if you want to is, you know, you could, like I said, you can man up that solo receiver. You play a cloud flat there. And then, like I said, this guy is who I would use her. Because if, if there's nothing to the back, then you're going to come down in here and you're going to be able to kind of come over and poach. I really like this coverage a lot. Like, especially, let's say you get a verticals call and you see that streak, that seam streak, you can run over here and, you know, put yourself in a position to take that, all, all those routes over there away. So that's some tips and tricks for how to run the cover two sync. If you want to learn my complete 335 odd defense, all the blitzes and coverage schemes that we can do out of this, I think this is probably one of the better defenses in the game. So if you want to get access to the full version of this defense, there's a link in the description below. You can get it for just 15 bucks. I'll also put that link down in the comment section if you want to get it there. So thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys later.